Hello friends, welcome back to Sidebar with Stephanie. Today we're talking about sort of a fun topic, something that's been all over Facebook, whether you know it or not, fake news. Now I know what some of you are thinking, it's all fake news. Guys, it's not all fake news. But there is a lot of fake news on Facebook because of just the way Facebook is set up. So what I'm going to tell you today is why people create fake news, why we share fake news, and most importantly, how you can spot fake news. So first, why do people create fake news? Very easy answer to this. It's twofold actually. Ad revenue. When you create fake news, it's usually more outlandish. You can make it whatever you want. People will click on it. They will go to your site. You will earn ad revenue. Some people are probably also creating it in order to further their own political beliefs, but that is not everyone. Okay. Secondly, why do we share fake news? So here's what's interesting about just the human condition. In my opinion, the news is generally based, generally because there are some bad examples out there, in fact and logic. Fake news is based in emotion. Humans are very reactive emotionally. When you see something that sort of pulls at your heartstrings or really makes you mad, you are way more likely to share it. So that's why we share fake news. But here's the most important thing. I'm going to tell you four ways that you can spot fake news. And we're going to do a little case study on this fake story about a Clinton donor, George Soros, allegedly owning half the voting machines and rigging them to steal the election for Hillary Clinton. This is a fake news story, okay? Fake news story. First way that you can tell if something is probably not that reputable. Go to the original postings Facebook site. If we go to this Facebook site, we see and the Fed that it's a non-governmental organization, okay? Let's compare that to major media organizations like CNN and Fox News. You'll see there, their Facebook page has them labeled as a media slash news company. Very easy way to be tipped off right off the bat that this might be a fake news story. Secondly, sometimes though, that's not foolproof. If we look at this very well-known fake news site, nationalreport.net, we go to their Facebook page, it says right here, media slash news company. That's a little weird, right? Okay, so let's go to their actual website. And I know this is hard because Facebook has worked very hard to keep you in Facebook, but just do it. You have an internet browser on your cell phone. So go to nationalreport.net and you'll see right there, disclaimer, this is a fake news site. Nothing here is to be taken seriously. So now we go to step three, which also involves the internet. Maybe the next time you see something that seems a little bit outlandish, I would recommend you use that little Facebook tool to save that link and revisit it later and see if it's still there. Because sometimes these fake news stories will be deleted. And what will we see? A 404 error because the link isn't active anymore, but the damage is already done because the headline's out there and that all stays there. But the actual page with the full fake news story is no longer there. And finally, as long as we're outside of Facebook and we're on the internet, let's just Google it. Step four, Google it. So if we Google this story, we see very quickly George Soros voting machines. The very first hit is PolitiFact and it rates this as a pants on fire lie, which is the strongest lie rating that they have. So now you're going to ask me, why should I trust PolitiFact? Here's why you should trust PolitiFact. PolitiFact is a project that's run by the Tampa Bay Times, which is the largest newspaper in Florida. Big deal, I know, another media organization that you probably don't trust. Well, here's what's interesting about the Tampa Bay Times. In 1970s, the owner, Nelson Pointer, decided that he didn't want to leave his legacy in the hands of his family. He sort of famously said that he hadn't met his great-grandchildren yet, and he wasn't exactly sure if he was going to like them. So what did he want to do? He set up a situation where his paper would be left to a journalism institute, a non-biased, non-partisan organization that is a clearinghouse for information and news about journalism, which you probably guessed is the Pointer Institute. So PolitiFact basically comes straight from the Pointer Institute. Now, yes, the day-to-day -day operations of the Tampa Bay Times are headed up by one executive, but that executive has complete authority to appoint his or her successor when their time has come to an end. So it's about as independent journalism that you can get. So I really trust PolitiFact for fact checking and I recommend that you trust it too. Okay guys, it's crunch time. There is one week left until the US presidential election. Be diligent, 
Try not to share any fake news, and if you have been duped, put it in the comments below. Or if you see something that you think is fake news, put it in the comments below and we'll all figure it out together. This is Stephanie Haney. Thanks for watching.